is working hard on just finishing up all of these many projects that you guys have had. So thank you to all your people as well. Um, a couple new things. Um, don't forget that school does begin uh, the 15th of August. So be very aware of all these people, little kids riding bikes and walking and crosswalks and all that. On the 17th of August, um, that's a, uh, well, on the 16th, we do the water fight um, that has become a fun tradition, and we thank the um, fire department for coming to Swenson Park to assist in all of that. And then on the 17th, there is a fundraiser, what is that playing? You guys go to the fundraiser, it's for Smith Valley after from Smith Air Park King for WP. Okay. And then there's following that is a, a street dance downtown. Bethany College students start arriving. And so um, a lot goes on here in August. So um, pay attention to all the notices that are given out. Um, and um, pardon me? Oh. All right. So we have a new um, person to our community. Dallas Peterson, is that right, sir? Yes, that's right. Um, you'd like to step up to the podium. You are the new pastor at the Trinity. Yeah, I've been up in this church. Yeah. Well, welcome to Lynchburg. Well, thank you. Welcome to the city mm -hmm. council. Good to be here. Well, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day you've given us and the many blessings that we have. Uh, Lord, uh, I, I feel honored to be here this evening to uh, give this prayer, and uh, Lord, I just pray that you would be with this group as they uh, talk about the business of Lindsborg, that you would bless them. We thank you for each and every one, and uh, Lord, for giving them their time and their talents to uh, make Lindsborg a better place to be. Uh, God, we just, uh, again, we thank you for, for them, and we pray, God, that you would bless them this evening during this meeting. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Peterson. Thank you. I, I hate to duck the drum, but uh, I've got another meeting to be at. All right. So. All right. Okay. Thank you. So, thank thank you. you. All right. Um, do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Since I put the request 
trip through there to the sidewalk and we would set our tables up against the building to where people could walk through. There would be parking on the east side, of course, parking on Main Street. Anyhow, my request here is, is to find out if there is a possibility of using city property for this purpose. The market seems to be growing. Uh, we don't want to stop it. Uh, there seems to be a desire by the public to find it, and so that's why I'm here. I don't know what the next step is. I guess you guys have made it. Okay, well, um, what is in the packet for council um, consideration is the 100 block of South Main. Okay. Okay, so you're wanting to put other... There would be one place. location and only one location. Okay. We just need to pick a spot. And I didn't know if I needed to request every spot that the city <laughs> owned. Well, I just think generally say that it's either going to be there or here or there. What you have requested that city owned would be Swenson Park, the parking lot right. south of right. USD 400 in the parking right. lot here. Right. Are you asking us to choose? No. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm asking for permission to use one of those three. One of those three. Okay. And I, I can't tell you which one it will be because I have to go back to the other people and say, where do you want to go? They've given us a green light. I know that there is some concern about Swenson Park with that shelter because people rent it out. Yes. I think. Whatever mm -hmm. you're running at 7 30 on Saturday morning. Yeah, but I mean, they might be coming in. I don't have one yet, but I mean, that was just a concern that was expressed to me. That's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Um, anybody want to make a motion and select a location or? Can we make a motion to allow permission at all three locations, even if it's not part of this packet? Yeah. Okay. Okay. The yeah. idea would be, Kenny, that you would then advise us as to which one you're going to Yeah, or you get up early Saturday morning. That would be helpful to us if we could plan. We want to be in a spot where the public will find us. Uh, there's no reason for anybody to sit for four and a half hours and not be able to see anybody. We're getting traffic out where my shed is, but not the traffic we think we'd like to see. Uh, so, that's it. Safety, parking, and ease of moving the product to the location. Or the ones that we have to look at. Okay. So, the motion could be to offer, for instance, the three city-owned properties for consideration to be used. Now, does that mean that you would just select one? Yeah, then? Just one. Okay. I'll make the motion to approve the request to hold a farmer's market on Saturdays through October on the three city-owned parking lots that include the 100 block of, uh, the parking lot on the 100 block of South Main, Swinson Park, and the parking lot east of City Hall. I second. second. Is there any further discussion? Do you understand the motion? Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Thank and you. as I said earlier, it may not occur on City property. If they want to go north of the bank, that's where they want to go. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, most of you guys know I am Ryan here. I'm one of the co-chairs for this year's Philly Special Conduct here in October. Uh, Eric Munchman and I have kind of discussed over the last couple months about having a beer tent in there. Uh, we're kind of in the first stages of putting it all together, but it is August, and uh, October is going to be here before we know it. Uh, our request tonight will be to have a beer tent uh, during regular hours right here in the parking lot below us. Saturday night, it's understanding we're going to have a uh, uh, loud or a delayed that we're going to be performing at stage there. So we're going to open it up on the street for that time only during the during the uh, blaze performance, and then at that time we're going to take it down. Right now, I talked to Jim Moser tonight. We're working on dimensions. It's either going to be a 20 by 40 tent or a 30 by 40 tent. Uh, we can't drill into the concrete, so the water buckets are trying to get dimensions on that to make sure that they don't take up sidewalk space on that. But 
the tents are going to be right now, but if you're there, the American Legion is going to be handling, handling that. Uh, there's going to be these two to three people there at all times, uh, checking out these, making sure everybody's 21 or older. Uh, we do have wristbands that we're going to be having that we're going to card everybody with, and we have a wristband that they can card at the can you drink. Just call the whole beverages, it's going to be beer only. We're not going to be beer only sort. Um, the time frame, like I said, that we just put 10 a.m. to midnight on both days. I'm 99% sure it's not going to be the time frame. We're trying to work out timing as far as what's going to be going on downtown on Friday, Friday night. If there's no traffic downtown Friday night, we're going to shut it down probably early, early, after, early to late evening. Uh, if you ever been in the studio there on Friday and Saturday, it's a little congested in there, but we're not trying to get any business away from our community needs. Uh, we have had some interest in some alumni uh, coming back and having some of the classroom meetings being there. Uh, by no way do we want to make it any get out of control, so to speak, there. But uh, like I said, our plan is to have a beer tent uh, Friday and Saturday of the festival. Uh, like I said, Saturday night after the, after the concert, everything will be removed from the street. The street has to come in there and get stuff out of there as well. Uh, our barriers, we are going to have some either rope and some, either some sort of barriers on the outside of it, so people can just kind of walk in there during the, uh, during the event. Thing you can do 
to be sure you can do it next time? Make sure to make it work. Yes, that is our plan. I do not want to be a one and done here. So I plan to be here two years from now. Wow, really? Just for you. I'm going to give you a chance to do it.
nice majority, in my opinion. What are the dimensions of that? So the dimensions of that, I think, are 12 by 13 and a half by 7. Uh, the bag that we're proposing is actually a little bit bigger, be 13 by 15 by 7. Uh, the other piece of this is that it would be um, resold through local merchants uh, at, at our cost. Um, so the, and I, I intend for that to be the, the price that you see before you and uh, also to, to cover the, uh, we paid the Chris for the design work um, that would be in there as well.
simultaneous. They make a print, print them, and then move on. Um, so it's, it's based on how many bags you order uh, for the one time purchase. Is my guess. I could communicate with the, yeah. the representative customer. I'd be curious if you did a re order if you had to pay again. It's pretty high fee. Yeah, I think the, um, we, we talked about this a little bit, and I I guess I'm not I'm not in the bag retail business, or it wasn't, <laughs> hasn't been until tonight. Um, I'm curious how long it will take us to get through a thousand bags, and 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 um, if I thought we were going to go through them faster, I would. You know, we obviously it, it would be nice to spread that six hundred dollars over two thousand bags or three thousand bags instead of a thousand. But if it takes as long to sell a thousand bags as I think it might.
Um, so we, we've come before you, this is our second time to come before you with this for, uh, for something that actually doesn't have a real high price tag on it. Um, and I, do, I, as I was thinking about it, I thought, you know, we might say, um, you know, November would be an, an excellent time to run this promotion for existing customers to try to get some interest. Um, to get the dollar for, dollar. To get the dollar dollars. Yeah. And for all existing customers. Yeah. All existing okay. yeah. customers. Yeah. 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 I was a little concerned that you were in a discussion of which no, 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 customer no, 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 it was when, when on the calendar we might uh, do that. Um, and so that I wouldn't come before you again in November to say, you know, we decided uh, that staff would like to, to do this. The current motion is for a limit of 3610 so when we hit that limit then there'd be no more dollar dollars available that's correct but they could come back and ask for them. correct yeah
changes in the law that have to do with misdemeanor crimes. So you have traffic and then you have misdemeanor crimes. Uh, so all of the new laws in here need to be approved. And so I'm asking for the approval of Ordinance 5186. Motion to approve Ordinance 5186 to adopt the Uniform Public Offense Code Book for 2019.
opportunity for Greg to remind our um, listeners um, how we compare in Milwaukee to cities of comparable size across the state. I've got it here if you want me to throw it. Yeah, and if, you, if you would say you would throw it. I would do that. Um, uh, let's see, if you look at the city property tax rate in a broader context of total mill levy of 124.448 mills, Lindsborg ranks even better. Um, out of the same 139 cities, Lindsborg ranks as the 10th lowest total mill levy. The range for total mill levies is from a low of 111.725 mills to a high of 249.521 mills.
seconded to approve this in discussion. So what hasn't been done to this point will not be done. Correct. Okay. The, the curbing area that has been replaced is what we will replace. There are a few places where uh, APAC has gotten into it with the equipment uh, that they will have to go back and replace, but they're just small areas. There's no more big areas that need to be replaced. This pricing seemed pretty much in line with the other pricing we had on the original estimates. And yeah, yeah. And the, the, the only main factor that really changed that was uh, patching and, and the alligator pricing was different than the original estimate was. So. Okay. Any other comments? Discussion? Hearing none, not to be Rick? Yes. Joey? Yes. Corey? Yes. Yes. Betty? Yes. Ed? Yes. Mark? Yes. David? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Um, so there's no executive session? No. Yeah. 